الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين صل اللهم وسلم وزد وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد My dear brothers and sisters have you ever been on the top of a mountain يعني looking at that beautiful scenery who has fashioned everything in that beautiful way proportioned everything uh, in such perfect way have you ever been in the desert and looked at the sky at night marveled at the countless stars the moon which allah has placed like a lamp in the sky everything runs smooth everything runs with the mercy of allah and the full knowledge of allah that's why today we're talking about the wasi allah the all encompassing the all-embracing, the all-sufficient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَلِلَّهِ الْمَشْرِقُ وَالْمَغْرِبِ فَأَيْنَ مَا تُوَلُّوا فَثَمَّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ That to Allah belongs the east and the west. And then wherever you turn, you are turning towards Allah. That wherever you pray, and whenever you pray towards the Qibla of Allah, you're in fact working towards receiving the pleasure of looking at the face of Allah in Jannah. May Allah make us from them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna Allah wasi'un alim. That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses everything. He knows everything. It doesn't matter wherever you are. You can be next to the Kaaba. You can be in London in a small room. You can be in a prison cell. When you pray, when you make dua, you're not making dua to anyone else other than Allah and Allah knows about it. Not just you, but millions of people at the same time. Allah is worse, encompasses everything, knows everything. So ever, never, never think that Allah doesn't hear your duas or your prayers. In Surah Al-An'am, when Ibrahim salam was debating his people, he was telling them, do you debate with me about Allah whilst Allah, whilst He has guided me? He said to them, I'm not scared about whatever idols you are associating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one, none of these idols can ever harm me in any way except if Allah wills. And then Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Wasi'a Rabbi kulla shayin ilma. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses encompasses everything in his knowledge with his knowledge will you ever be mindful about that your idols don't have that kind of power your idols don't know about these things they can't harm they don't know anything whilst Allah knows everything he's in power of everything everything only runs because of Allah in surah ghafir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the angels who are carrying the magnificent, magnificent, magnificent throne of Allah. And whilst they're doing that, they are asking for forgiveness for the believers. And then they also say, Rabbana wasi'ta kulla shayin rahmatan wa ilma. They say, O oh, our Lord, you encompass everything with your mercy and your knowledge. Everything only runs because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only with the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why when you say subhanallah, what you're actually saying is, oh Allah, I praise your glory and I praise your perfection. You're praying to al wasi the all-encompassing, the all-embracing, the one who knows everything, hears everything, embraces everything, encompasses everything. You're praising Allah the perfect, whilst everyone else is imperfect. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us to realize that and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us to always pray towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full consciousness. May Allah grant us Jannah. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.